Hi, my name is Heather Pasha. I'm the Chief Security Officer for Palo Alto Networks. Uh, I look after emerging markets, which is Middle East, Africa, Eastern Europe, as well as Turkey and Russia. Uh, Palo Alto Networks is a cybersecurity company. Cybersecurity is all we do. Uh, we were founded more than 15 years ago, uh, primarily with the focus of disrupting the firewall market. But since the last decade and a half, we've really expanded on a multiple areas uh, around cybersecurity, specifically on the endpoint, securing that, securing the cloud journey, securing the network transformations that many organizations are having. And today we're really focused on looking at predictive and proactive cybersecurity across the client base that we have uh, globally around the world as well. We're founded in the Silicon Valley Bay Area, uh, but uh, we have offices worldwide um, as well. So Leap is extremely significant, I think, for uh, uh, the kingdom because uh, there are a lot of initiatives uh, uh, that uh, the vision uh, for the country is moving into. Um, specifically, when you look at Vision 2030 um, and the, the specific areas that the kingdom is trying to move towards when it comes to sustainability, technology, uh, innovation, you know, new smart cities coming out, all of these are critical areas for uh, the, the kingdom. Leap allows us to not just collaborate and network amongst each other, uh, both from the private industry as well as the public uh, environment, but allows us to actually showcase a lot of the talent as well as the technologies that we have to offer. Um, so it is absolutely very significant for us. And for Palo Alto Networks, it's extremely important for us to be participating here. It's our honor to be here and to represent the company, but really to, to support the kingdom. Um, as we have been for many years, uh, you know, we've been founded uh, in specifically within uh, the Saudi market uh, for more than uh, 10 years at this point. Our key focus is to really be uh, supporting the government as well as the private industry in the kingdom around the, their cybersecurity strategy and really help them plan for the next four, five, ten years down the road as well. So this uh, event allows us to really be uh, a critical partner with many of the organizations that we already are dealing with, but also the future industries that we know are going to be critical for the future for the kingdom. When we look at the last two years with the COVID pandemic, uh, many organizations that I've been speaking with and the many CIOs and CISOs that I speak with really touched to me about three key areas of their strategy. The first is network transformation. They're focused on allowing now uh, employees to work in this hybrid world environment where not all of them have to come into the office, that they need to provide services. And one of the key threats that they're dealing with is the ability of the home user to connect in using their own personal assets, uh, which could potentially compromise their own environment. And so that's a key area that Palo Alto is supporting you know, many CIOs. On the CISO side, the second key initiative that we are really heavily partnered with is the use cases of artificial intelligence and machine learning to help them become a lot more predictive with the threats that they see as their attack surface continues to expand, which is a key threat. Because as you start looking at whether it's some form of a local cloud environment, IoT technology, or other use cases that you want to build with your supply chain, cybersecurity is extremely top of mind for those organizations. And so with Palo Alto, we're really supporting to move in that um, uh, you know, security uh, capabilities so that they can provide uh, the ability to not just detect, but actually prevent and do it in a proactive manner as well. Uh, and then the third key area is the transformation of the security operation center. Many organizations realize that the threat is real, both the attack sophistication as well as the impact that those attacks are having within the kingdom, unfortunately, continue to increase. Ransomware, as an example, is, is, is evolving on a yearly basis at this point in time. So we're supporting uh, many organizations overcome, not just uh, from ransomware, but general threats by really evolving their security operation centers and focusing more on becoming predictable but really autonomous as much as possible where automation really takes uh, first uh, precedence. As we look at expanding within the kingdom, um, you know, we are currently more than 50, 60 employees uh, within uh, the kingdom at this point in time. Um, our future growth uh, in, inside of the kingdom is to really double that effort within a very short amount of time span. We're talking about a year or two years down the road. And so for us to do that, our focus is really to establish key uh, you know, executive briefing centers, um, key centers of excellence with, for cybersecurity, partner very closely with the agencies, uh, the government uh, agencies are, uh, you know, within the kingdom as well, and really help them with that cyber transformation program that's going to be critical for the future as well. 
So as I look forward to the next half a decade or a decade down, down the line, um, you know, I see Saudi Arabia as becoming not just a regional uh, hub and a regional benchmark when it comes to digital transformation, I see them becoming a benchmark for the whole world. Um, when you look at uh, cybersecurity and the cybersecurity index that was recently released, I was very proud to see Saudi Arabia ranked as number two as being one of the most capable countries when it comes to cyber uh, you know, security. When I look at the next you know, five to 10 years, I absolutely envision for Saudi Arabia to be number one when it comes to not just cybersecurity, but really become the benchmark where other government organizations around the world can learn from not just the digitization that the country is undergoing, but also how they're protecting themselves, their citizens, and their own organizations and data as well. And I look forward for Palo Alto to be a key strategic partner in that effort as well.